Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Coral Island. Today is the flower festival, I believe. Oh, somebody's here. Good morning to you, Bree. You have a great spot here. Waking up to this every day must feel amazing. I heard from Ling. Ah, that feels weird calling Dr. Yang Ling. Well, she insisted anyway. She said you went diving, how was it? Can I bring Kibble home because he was the cutest? I want to say yes, but Kibble isn't mine to give, so. Anyway, when you dive, you might come across kelps that look large, dancing worms on seabed. Those are kelps useful stuff. There are wide varieties of kelps, each have its own characteristics and benefits. The ones you probably encounter now is a bronze kelp. Looks kind of brownish. The lab can use them to upgrade your seeds and fodder. It will then increase the quality of your crops and animal products. Higher quality means higher prices too. Ching! You need to extract the kelp's essence before bringing them to the lab though. And an extractor can extract kelp essence. Here's the blueprint for making it. To make an essence, you need to place 10 kelp in a glass inside the extractor. Bring 5 kelp essence to the lab and you can choose which produce to upgrade. How's that? Good luck! Alright, as I was saying, there is actually the festival today. So we're going to get everything on our island ready and situated before we head over and honestly, guys, I think I'm going to try to do that one last coral extract before the festival. We just got to show up between 9 and 2, so that's not super early. So I think well, that's what we're going to do right now. Let's go diving. It'll be very quickly. We just got to do one more solar orb. Then we can go have fun at the festival, which I will need to bring something for the pot, right? Maybe this daffodil will work. Well, I guess people don't really like daffodils, though. Okay, it's 9 o'clock now. We got a couple hours. We need to keep an eye on the time. I only want to activate one of them, so we shouldn't be down here for too, too long. Yes, okay, we found it, finally. Whew, guys, I was starting to get worried. Look at my stamina. All right, guys, we did the final one. Now we can go have fun up top. Let's go. Now we'll just have to go to the lab later. It's 12 o'clock, so let's hurry on over. You're not even there, dude. You're late just like me. Okay, we made it. Okay, it's right here. Let's go. Let's start. I didn't want to miss it. Ooh. All right, let's see. There's people on here that I do not know. There's a stranger right here by the tree. There's a stranger talking to Ling. Three people over there that's strangers and we'll meet everybody. You're the stranger. Theo. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about you. You're that new farmer from San Francisco, right? Ah, that's right. Pocchio. I'm Theo. Millie? Yes, Bree. I've been meaning to meet you. My name is Millie. I'm so excited to have people moving in. And then there's three people up here. And then we can go do the festivities. You know, I gotta get my meeting people out of the way. Bree! Oh my god, there's two Bree's in the game. That's not gonna work. Oh, you're the new farmer. I was worried there for a bit about a potential competitor. You are my competitor. We get the same name. Nothing to worry about, it seems. You know what? We will fight, Bree. Don't even tempt me. We will fight. I believe we can donate. Now, should we? what can we put in there? Put some sea salt? We'll put some salt, <laughs> put some salt in there. Can I donate it again? Oh, thank you. Please talk to Connor to start the main event. But I saw some stuff happening over here, like a foot race. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick practice run real quick just to see what this game is about. And then we're going to play for real. So I noticed something about the stamina running out. So how does the stamina reach? Okay. You have to sit a little bit and see. That's how the stamina will come back. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, 
Okay, that was very slow, but I honestly, I stopped in the middle. But honestly, I think I understand how to play the game. So I think let's do it. Let's do this. Oh, let's do it. Oh, Connor, Aaliyah, Frank, and me, let's go. We can win. Oh yeah. We are killing it. So let's get some stamina back. Let's go, let's go. We need some stamina, we need some stamina. Oh, he's approaching us. We need some stamina, we need some stamina. Come on, we're gonna come in first, we're gonna come in first. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. First place. Is that it? Do I get a prize? I can play again. Oh, these are different people now. New opponents. We got this. We got this. Boom. Boom. Oh, they're actually good. They're actually good. They're actually good. Come on, don't you guys need some stamina? We are in like dead last right now, guys. We need to we need to turn this around. Oh no! We are falling behind. Third place? Third place? Bronze complete. So what happens now? You already participated. We lost? All right, whatever. So hot top, hot pot donation and that. So we did those two, oops. We did those already. So let's talk to Mayor Connor and get the actual event started. All right, here he is. Oh, is that it? Oh yeah, let's start the main event, let's go. Folks, it's finally time for our main event. The soup is now ready. Big thanks to all your contributions. Miss Ross, would you do the honor of tasting it? Of course, thank you, Mayor Connor. Oh, I put salt in there. This soup will reflect the unity of the town. It's time to taste what all you together made today. Ew. It's okay. I taste nothing special with this soup. Well, as long as it's edible, everyone can consider it a success. All right. Well, that was that for today. Let's go to bed. Oh my God, we gained a relationship with Mayor Connor. What do we complete today? We should complete a temple offering. Ooh, they're ready to go. Okay, that was nice. Wake up call. I didn't know that they were gonna be ready this early. Greetings, Bree. I'd like to run an idea by you at about local produce. Meet me at the general store when you have time. All right, Sam. All right, um, I'm not really too sure what we should do right now. Cause look, if we look over all of our quests, we have a lot, like a lot of quests. The extractor, can we craft an extractor? I think it was too expensive, right? Yeah. So we can't do that right now. Museum expansion, that's gonna take some time. I wanna complete a temporal offering in this video, so we have to get that together. Local pro, oh, we'll have to go meet Sam at the general store. We just got that one in our mailbox. So let's go see what he wants. And we also have some money so that we can actually buy some more props. Let's come down here and like fish a little. This thing is not moving at all. Can your line get stuck on something? Oh, the store is open now. I tried to fish for one fish and it was literally not working. You know what I also forgot? People's birthdays. Now that I'm thinking about it. Hello, Sam. Bree, you've been quite the regular. Working hard at the farm, hmm? Yeah, getting used to it, kind of. How did you know? You know, we getting used to it. Good, good. I see that you're also getting much used to the shipping men. Yeah, you you know. Your shipment is always a huge hit with the town folk. I think we miss the taste of local produce. What that got to do with me? Here, let me show you something.
This is our import section. Everything on the side is imported. Imported. I have to say, it's very expensive to get them here. The shipping costs, taxes, that sort of thing, they add up surprisingly fast. I've done my best to keep prices low. My margins are razor thin, but it's just not enough. Any lower and we'll go under. And this here is our local section. It's empty and really sad to look at. As soon as I receive your cops, I put them all here and they're selling like hotcakes, flying off the shelves as it were. It wasn't always like this. Back in the day when folks were in charge, the whole store used to be stacked top to bottom with local produce. It was something to be proud of, but now I have no choice but to sell imported produce only. I'd love to reopen the local produce section, but need your help to do it. The task is simple. You will need to ship a lot of bronze quality vegetables and fruits. I've jotted the exact amount in this note. And of course, I will pay extra for this effort. I think the extra coins on top of your usual crop commissions will be a whole order is filled. Hmm. Okay. Why are you standing so close to me though? 25 fruit and 20 and 50 vegetables? Oh Lord. We can craft fertilizer, right? We'll do that over there. So we got 15 of these carrots. One daisy, and then we'll do some potatoes. Okay, we're gonna go plant these right now, what we just unlocked, and then we're gonna go visit Ling at the lab, see what she has to say, then get our quest updated from there, then go see about completing a temple offering, and then we should be good. All right, guys, we have one more piece of metal that I didn't see earlier. Sprout, I'm hearing the rumors are true about there being a new farmer in Starlet Town. You're doing great work in the field. Give these fertilizers a try, apply them to tilled soil, They'll improve your chances of harvesting higher quality crops. They'll fetch more coins when it comes to sell as well. Okay. That is so beneficial because I crafted up some. And now I got 15 more to put down. All right, made it. Ah, Bree, welcome to the lab. I've been expecting you. Of course, I already know everything that happened while you were diving. You were able to activate the solar orb. Saw everything unfold from Kibble's point of view. I'm glad the ocean finally found someone worthy. More importantly, I do owe you an explanation. Please follow me to my secret lair and I'll explain things to you. Where to start? Well, many years ago, I planted super corals, just like the one here all around Coral Island. They've been specifically bred to surviving rising ocean temperatures and hostile environments. The room we're in also holds a er, MRF, ancient technology that can remove, remove, that can remove, remove. <laughs> Sorry, that threw me off there that can remove, remove roots damaged by oil and heal sick coral. What you saw in the ocean, how should I put it? At its most basic, we take a little bit of what makes a super coral healthy and share with all the other sick corals so they can get better. By combining human science, a little bit of magic, and the ancient technology, the ocean can recover. It's a lot to take in and I'm sure you'll have questions, but that's all I can share. The rest you'll need to discover on your own. As promised, the diving suit is yours to keep. Hmm, just one more thing before I let you go. I want you to know, although you've been deemed worthy, you aren't the only one out there that is worthy. Ah, oh, the nerve. Hopefully that didn't come across the wrong way, but I don't want you to feel like this is fate. You can't escape. There's nothing worse than that. Okay. Thanks again for stopping by, Bree. All right, we were only in here for 10 minutes, so we're gonna leave real quick and go to the, oh, but this, 
this, I need this to get processed in here, don't I? Blacksmith got like two hours. Boom. Silver kelp, okay. I don't know what can we use silver kelp for yet. All right, now let's get over to the blacksmith. Process geode. Ooh, artifacts. Ooh. Okay, silver ore. Coal, we definitely need some coal. Oh, okay, more coal. Boom. Perfect. We should also think about upgrading our tools soon. That can get kind of expensive though. But all right, let's stop inside the museum and get these donated. Oh, snaps, look at them sitting all right here. We need to donate how many things? 50. Hey, we're at 19, that's not too bad. Let's, okay, let's go stop at the temple offering one more time. So do I need, do I actually really need to stop over here? Probably not, but I forgot what I needed to don donate. I think it was Sabi. Let's just hurry up and quickly run over here and get back home. Okay, Wasabi. Yeah, we leveled up in farming. We can make a sprinkler. Oh my God, that is gonna be so awesome. How do you even craft a sprinkler? Silver kelp and bronze kelp. I have one silver kelp. We build a composter. We'll put it over here next to this one, next to our furnace. Just until I can find spot on the farm to put it. All right, guys, I have four pine cone seeds. I'm, all I need is one more pine cone seed. And that is going to be the tree, if I can even get to it, that is going to give us our final pine cone right here. Moment of truth, hurry up. No pine cone tree, oh my God. It was too easy. All right, this is going to be that tree that gives us the ability to teleport. We finally got five pine cones. Let's get over there and donate that or offer it, I should say, to the Lake Temple Queen. All right, guys, we finally made it over here. I struggle with coming over here, I'm not gonna lie. I be getting lost. Boom, we donated, let's go. You did it. Drink this to receive my blessing. Now you can use my shrines and travel freely between them. All of them? Fast travel, let's go. And I get a reward. Recycling machine. Okay, now all we need to do is a carrot and a daisy. Diving pier, the farm. Those look to be the only two we can go to right now. All right, let's sell some stuff. Go donate this little bug real quick. Hickory horned devil. All right, what is our reward? Compost. Let's put our new machine down. It's not lined up with the rest of them. Turns trash into scrap. Okay, we have a lot of quests. Let's see. Museum exploration, we need 30 more thingies. Local produce, we need 50 and 25. We need 75 things. Fill coral sites, five out of 20. And craft an extractor. Which I can't even craft an extractor because I don't got all the necessary material. Oh my God, I can use this new thing I just got. I can just use this to turn it into scrap. Where's my trash? I don't know how much we actually need. Crafting, that's not crafting. This, we need 20. Oh, uh, 12 minus 20. We need about eight. Well, I guess it would be negative eight. How much did I put in here? All right, that is more than enough. I don't know why I did 13, but there you go. Um, What do we do now that we're waiting? I guess it's time to go do some old fashioned fishing. And we also do got some more farming stuff, so. Stay, I like stay hydrated. I'm not gonna lie, I'm picking stay hydrated. Diving, double kelp, double artifacts. Uh, do we get a lot of money for artifacts? Cause I think kelp might be like the number one resource we need right now. Because when I was looking over some crafting recipes, they need kelp. But yeah, we're gonna come over here to Zara's boat. We're just gonna fish off the edge for the remainder of the time.
all right guys the thing about fishing is it's so slow all right this is all i got three fish but i'm also not the best fisherman out there let's finish off the night crafting an extractor and finishing that quest all right so now what's the one me to do produce bronze kelp essence using your new extractor so we need this and we need glass do i have any glass i do have some glass i don't think i have enough yeah i need 10 bronze kelp so i don't have enough we'll do that later then but let's go to bed guys forging new level let's go and we earned some money today too all right guys with that being said i'm going to end out today's video right here i hope you guys did enjoy and this has been breezy and i will see you guys in my next video peace out everybody